Spellbound is brought to you by KFC, TheBestToys.com, Shell, Milo, Art Concepts Limited, Republic Bank Limited. Get ready to be Spellbound! Competing today, Anaya Patino from North Manzanilla Government Primary School. Arya Babwa from Cedar Grove Private School. Sanjeev Maharaj from Robert Village Hindu Primary School. Renel Batiste from St. Gabriel's Girls RC School San Fernando. Kristen Jute from Separia Boys RC School. Suri Nobby from San Fernando TML Primary School. Avisha Gangadeen from Brothers Presbyterian Primary School. And let's meet the team. Our pronouncer, Conrad Paris. Our judge, Candice Karaya Charles. Our hive hosts, Megan Das and Stefan Feldman. And our queen bee, Hey Markison. Welcome to Spellbound. Now this is not your school spelling competition. This is unlike any spelling bee that you've seen before. And all for our superstars, like the ones you see here, and our school children, 10 and under. Now these brave contestants, who's brave? Who do you think is the bravest? Come on. Well, we see the girls jump down first, but the brave <laughs> contestants will have limited time to spell some challenging words. Does that make you nervous? No. no. They're ready for this competition. Now there are a few complications along the way and a little, some surprises. We like surprises, don't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah we do. We're all ready to go uh, to make it to the final ground. But before starting off, we're going to have a warm up round one. The honeycomb. Do you all know that guy? Yes. Where do you know him from? Superstars in the house. Now in this round, you'll have to get to spell three words. How many? Three, three words. And you're going to have 30 seconds and each time that you spell the word correctly, our judge, now those two people are there, but our judge is, wave judge, what's gonna happen if they spell it correctly? Did you get that? Let's do it again, what, what's gonna happen? You can tell these are superstar children, but if we don't spell it correctly, they, they already have started this competition. I know that's what's gonna happen if you don't spell it correctly. Students, before we start, now, I am a little nervous, so we're doing this for me. Let's all do a little buzz because we are bees. So, come on, let's get the buzz to get the nerves off. <laughs> my, my buzz is a little longer. <laughs> Judge, are we ready? Pronounce a Paris. Thank you, Hema. Students, I will give you three words with 30 seconds maximum in which to spell them. You may say pass if you choose. Time permitting, I will return to past words. If Anaya will step to the podium, please step into the spellbound arena. Are you ready? Yes. Your first word is climate. Climate. C L I M A T E. Climate. Temperature. T E. Temperature, T-E-M-P-A-R. Temperature, T-E-M-P-E-R. Well, Anaya, thank you very much. Aria, please step to the spellbound arena. Are you ready? Definitely. Lovely. Your first word. Exhaust. E-X-H-A-U-S-T-E. Ratio. Repeat, please. Ratio. Ratio? Yes. R A S H O W. Heroes. H E R O E S. 
Thank you very much, Arya. <laughs> Sanjeev, step into the Spellbound Arena, please. Your first word, are you ready? Yes. Your first word is crypt. C R I P T. Dominoes. D-O-M-I-N-O-E-S Phrase P-H-R-A-S-E Thank you very much, Sanjeev. <laughs> Next. Renelle, please, step into the Spellbound Arena. Are you ready? Yes. Your first word, acquire. A-Q-U-I-R-E. Safety. S-A-F-E-T-Y. Nervous. N-E-R-V-O-U-S. Thank you very much, Renelle. <laughs> Kristen, you're up next. Step to the podium, please. Your first word, scissors. S-C-I-S-S-O-R-S. -S -S Absence. Absence, A-B-S-C-E-N-S-E. -S -S -E. Diamond. D-I-A-M-O-N-D. -D. Thank you very much, Kristen. <laughs> Suri. Welcome into the Spellbound Arena. Your first word. Myth. Myth. M-Y-T-H. Myth. Bagel. Bagel. B-A-G-E-L. Bagel. Acre. Acre. A-C-R-E. Acre. Thank you very much, Suri. <laughs> and finally, Miss Gangadeen. Please step up to the podium. Are you ready? Yes. I appreciate your confidence, Avisha. Your first word is morale. M O R A G. Individual. Individual. N N no. I N D I V U A L. Grief. Grief. G R E I F. Thank you, Avisha. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and to all of the boys and girls, and to our audience, a round of applause for all of the students. Great job, all of the superstars. Now, for those of you at home, let's just take a look at the stats. So, give you an idea as to how we arrived here. I just want to give the kids a little encouragement today. Okay, don't have no fear. Go out there and do your best. Put your best foot forward and you will succeed. Hi to all the kids who participated in the spelling bee. Study hard and do your best. Welcome back to Spellbound, where we have some seriously talented bees. A round of applause for everyone competing the first round. Now we've seen a little bit about what they can do. Now we are really getting into it. Round two, the bee off. Now in this round, you're each getting, not three, but four words. How many? Four words. Four words. And if you run out of time, pronounce a Paris will move on to the next student. But nothing to be nervous about because we know we have the timer and we know what 30 seconds feels like. Because the first round was a warm-up round, right? Yeah? Good one. Now, your spelling time could definitely make a difference in this one. So this one is about the time and doing it fastest. 
To decide which group of words you get, each of you will get to pull from the hive. Ready for the hive? Like bees, there's a lot of movement and we're taking some movement around the hive. So when, so we know what bee you are at this point. When I call the name, you move. So bumblebee, one. Carpenter bee, you're now at podium number two. Honey bee, you're now at number three. Ivy bee, number four. Killer bee, number five. Mining bee, number six. And stingless bee, number seven. We all have the right position. So it's time to start spelling. Pronouncer Paris, on to you. Thank you, Hema. Students, similarly to the last round, I will read your words and you will spell them. Keep an eye on the clock, as there are only 30 seconds for you to spell four words this time. You may say pass if you choose. Time permitting, I will return to past words, okay? But this time, our judge will be tallying silently and you will not know if you've gotten any of your words right or wrong until the end of the round. Understood? Good. Yeah. Starting with bumblebee. Are you ready? Yes. Your first word. Circumference. Circumference. S-E-R-C-O-M-F E R A N C. Abbreviation. Abbreviation. A B B R E V I A T I O N. Boulevard. Boulevard. B O U. That is time. Thank you so much, Bumblebee. Carpenter B, you are up next, Carpenter B. Are you ready? Yes. Your first word. Phantom. Phantom. P H A N T O N. Requirement. R E Q U I R E M E N T. Approximately. A P P R O X. I am A T E L Y. Vigorous. V I G O R O U S. Time it is. Thank you very much, Carpenter B. Kristen. It's now Honey Bee's turn. Please step into the arena. Your first word cynical. F Y N I C A L. Artificial. A-R-T-I-F-I-C-I-A-L Emphasize E-M-P-H-I-S-I-S -I -I Grievance G-R-I-E-V-E-N-C-E -E -E. Thank you very much, Honeybee. You may return to your position. And now, it's time for Ivy Bee to step to the mic. Are you ready, Renelle? Yes. Your first word, wheeze. W-E-E-S. Bazaar. B-U-S-E-R. Literacy. L-I-T-R-C-E-R. Synonym. S-Y-N-O-S-Y-N-O-M. Thank you very much. <laughs> Killer B, it is your turn. Are you ready? Yes. I am too. Your first word, visualize. V I S U A L I Z E. Rhombus. R U M B U S E. Threatening. T H R E A T E N. 
I N G. Jealousy. G. I'm sorry, that's time. Thank you very much, IVB. Now, we move on to mining bee. Are you ready, Sanjeev? Yes. Your first word. Porridge. P-O-U-R-A-G-E. Exhibit. E-X-I-B-E-A-T. Campaign. C-A-M-P-A-I-N. Souvenir. S-U-V-E-N-E-A-R. Thank you very much, Mining B. And finally, Stingless B. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Suri, your first word, irresponsible. Irresponsible. I-R-R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-L-E. -E. Irresponsible. Mediate. Immediate. I-M-M-E-D-I-A-T-E. -E. Immediate. Omnivore. Omnivore. O-M-N-I-V-O-R-E. Omnivore. Paralyze. Paralyze. P-A-R-A-L-Y-Z-E. -E. Paralyze. Thank you very much, Suri. And that's the round. Well, now that the bees are back in the hive, it's time for the judges to tally the results. But while they do so, let's find out if the man on the street can spell if big people can do any better. All you are going on is your boy Stephanie Alphabet Man. We out here in the streets for Spellbong all you. And we're asking people outside here whether they can spell, whether they can spell. We out here and we want to see how the man on the street veering with the spelling thing. So let come with me, let we go. It have any words, boy, that he's had to check spell check. You had to check Grammarly. You had to check all them different apps to particularly spell by this. You're real trouble, boy. Yeah. Which word? Shagaramas. Oh, God. Ha <laughs> hi! Boulevard. You ever go on Charlotte Boulevard to buy booty? Right, Charlotte Street Girl. <laughs> you know that it's called the Charlotte Boulevard? <laughs> Let me see if we can spell one of them words that I'm sure enough. Let we go. We go in, eh? We go in. Hygiene. All right. H Y G I E N. I know you're bright. You see what that shades alone? I know you're swag. I know you was getting that dog. Pull a bag. Got nothing. It's it tough. It's tough. You see? I feel you want to go in that spelling bee. Yeah, I know. <laughs> T A M Tambran B R A M O B Tambran. What is Tambran? Tambran is something from a tree that you can make to do stew tambran or you can do paste tambran right. with so, um, baking soda and salt. Right. So spell it one more time again for the camera. Tambran is T-A-M-B-R-A-M. Excellent. And your word is biscuit. Oh God, biscuit. Tea time or, or biscuit? Okay. You, any kind of biscuit. You choose your biscuit. B-I-S-C-I-U-T. That is why you were the fourth alternate. Thank you. All right, so tell me how you're going to teach me to learn to spell the word necessary. Okay, so it's never eat cheese, eat salami sausages, and remain young. Necessary. Wow, that is excellent. <laughs> Ole, that was excellent. I will never not know how to spell necessary again. Seven, how are the streets? Hey, ma. Oh, my gosh. Me able, you know. Me are able. It's Boyo and Kala book I'm going to buy for them, you know. I'm not able. I ain't able with them at all, Lord. Well, it's one thing I think we can recognize is that those are some seriously difficult words. So a round of applause for all of the students participating, showing us what quality education we do have. But things are getting serious now, and it's time to find out which of our starting seven is gonna make it to round three. The four students who are qualified, and in no particular order, Suri, Kristen, Anaya, and Aria. A round of applause again for all of our students. And let's just head back to the stats board so you at home can see how it all got calculated. When we return, it's round three, the penultimate round of this episode of Spellbound. Would you guys consider giving us a big buzz out there for everybody at home? Yeah? Three, two, one, buzz! buzz, buzz. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much for being here. And just to let you guys know, you are all champions. So I just want to give you these little tokens of our appreciation, show you how amazing a job you guys did. All right, so you can go ahead and grab one. Anything else? Anything else? Anything 
Anything you want to say? Shout out to your school. I want to shout out to my mom and daddy for helping me. And I want to shout out to my teacher, Miss Francis. Very lovely. I would like to shout out to my teacher, Sir Ronald, and my parents. Gosh, and Mr. Sanji? My entire school and my parents. These kids are amazing. You guys take a note from these wonderful children out there. We are here in Spellbound, the spelling arena, the first of its kind. Congratulations to our four students, Suri, Kristen, Anaya, and Aria. How are we feeling? Now, I, I know we've done the round of applause, but we have to recognize that these students are doing so well, moving on to another one, and they are competing for one of two spots in our episode finale. And you just have four more words to get. But this time, you know, I did mention, Auntie Hema did say things will change a little bit. So now you have to do it in less time, in 20 seconds. But I'm sure you're going to do it properly and do it well. But also, round three is also known as... Buzzed up! Now in this round, instead of pulling from the hive, we're going to go to the wheel. Stefan, what's the wheel about? Right. Let me explain to all your home. They give my big walk here to explain this wheel, right? So we have four categories. The kids could get any of those. Seven letters or more simply means the word has seven letters or more. Does it double? The word might have two letters, same letter next to it, or it may not. Who knows? Right? Start with a vowel. All you know the vowels. A, E, I, O, U. Right? And normal nouns is not a verb. It's not an adjective, right? It's person, place, animal thing. Or they still play that game a long time, right? So those are the categories that the kids may get on the wheel. On the wheel. Bees, are you ready? So now it's time to make your way to the wheel. So And Suri gets normal nouns. So Suri, you have to make your way back into the spelling arena and pronounce a Paris on to you. Again, I will read your words and you will spell them. Keep an eye on the clock as they are now only 20 seconds for you to spell four words. You may say pass if you choose. Time permitting, I will return to past words. Our judge will again be tallying silently and you will not know if you get any of your words right or wrong until the end of the round. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Your first word, kindergarten. Kindergarten, K-I-N-D-E-R-G-A-R-T-E-N, kindergarten. Seashell. Seashell, S-E-A-S-H-E-L-L, -L, seashell. Brochure. Brochure, B-R-O-C-H-U-R-E, brochure. Conductor. Conductor, C-O-N-D-U-C-T. Very good, sir. Very good, Juri. Anaya, it's now your turn. Starts with a vowel. Now, Anaya, we have to make your way to the spelling arena. Pronounce a Paris. Anaya? Yes. Your first word. Absolutely. Absolutely. A B S O U L O U T E L Y. Incredible. Incredible. I N C R E. Well, that was time. And but I thank, thank you. you very much, Anaya. Aria. You are up next. Seven letters or more. All right, let's go to the spelling arena. Conrad Paris. Here we go. Transporter. T-R-A-N-S-P-O-R-T-E-R. Mileage. M-I-L-E. A G E. Concentration. C O N T E R T R A T I O N. Pageant. P A G E N T. Thank you very much. Well done. And Kristen, 
Make your way to the wheel. Seven letters or more. Come on, Kristen, let's go into the spelling arena where Pronouncer Paris is waiting. You ready, Kristen? Yes. Good. Your first word. Addiction. A D D I C T I O N. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. V U L N E R A B L E. Congratulations. C O N G R A T. Well, that's time. Thank you very much, Kristen. A round of applause for all of our spellers, and we know. That was truly a difficult round. Well, Judge Coraya Charles tallies the results to determine the final two. I think I would like to just say how proud I am of all of the students and how proud we are of the education system in Trinidad and Tobago. We have the results. It's that time. I'm holding this close to my chest. And while everyone has been amazing, the two to finish fastest and with the most correct answers. Here we go. Suri and Ariel. A round of applause to everyone. And for those of you at home, here's a look at our stats board. I just want to give you, KCC Amco, these lovely little tokens for all your hard work and the amazing job that you did there today. Thank you guys so much. Can I get a, a, a buzz? Let's a buzz to buzz out. Let's go. Buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> and let's get ready for the guy that puts the spell in Spellbound, Kess the Illusionist. Thank you guys very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Kess the Illusionist, and welcome back to Spellbound, where things does not look as it seems. So today we're gonna learn a new word. And trust me, a lot of you guys probably think that this word is not real or it is made up. But trust me, it is not. And can you guess what word is that that magicians always use? Abracadabra. A lot of people think that that word is made up or it's just the magician that came to our primary school because he came to mine. We miss you, Mr. Abracadabra, but Abracadabra is actually a real word. And if I'm not mistaken, it is Latin. And can you guys guess what Abracadabra actually means? Abracadabra is a Latin word for I create as I speak. So let us show you guys exactly what we mean by abracadabra, I create as I speak. <laughs> this is your boy Cassie Luciness and Princess, and you were spellbound. It's the final round, this thing. But who gets to go first? Aria? Suri? Time for the fastest finger. Once pronounced Paris has read out the word, it's over to you. Pronounce Paris. Thank you, Queen Bee. Your word. Fertilization. Fertilization. F-E-R-T-I-L-I-Z-A-T-I-O-N. Fertilization. That is correct. So now, Suri, please use the word in a sentence. Plants must ensure they have proper fertilization if they would like to grow. That is correct. Suri, you are our winner for this episode of Spellbound. Congratulations, Suri. Our 
winner today receives their trophy sponsored by KFC and a KFC gift card, a $500 voucher from thebesttoys.com and the chance to compete for the cup in the season finale. Our runner-up also received a $300 voucher from thebesttoys.com and a KFC gift card. Thank you very much all of you at home for watching and to all of our students for keeping us spellbound. Can I get a, can I get the buzz now? <laughs> Suri, oh my goodness, congratulations. You must be so proud of yourself, are you? I know I am. Yes, I'm proud of myself. To shout out my teachers, both my teachers, Sam Jazz, Sam Jazz and Mrs. Zara, and my class for motivating me. Guys, teardrop, that was just perfect. You are such an amazing young lady. Congratulations again. And remember, Spellbound is brought to you by KFC, thebesttoys.com, Shell, Milo, Art Concepts Limited, Republic Bank Limited.